Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a video today that I have honestly put off for so, so long. PR hauls have always had like a weird place in my heart. I really love watching them myself, but I've always been too nervous to do one because I don't want to come across as like braggy or ungrateful or just like, I don't know. I don't want to come across like, yeah, whatever. This is my life. I get sent so much free shit. Awesome. Cause that is not what it's like at all. And I don't know, I just feel like sitting here on camera and like showing you guys all of the stuff that I get sent through PR. I don't know, I don't want it to come across as show offy. So I've been a little bit weird about doing one of these videos, but I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see a PR haul and so many of you guys said that you did. Like you guys went crazy for it. I had no idea that people would want to see it that much. So over the last two weeks, I have been saving all of my PR packages so that I could sit down and do this video for you guys. So yeah, I have a mound of boxes and packages and exciting stuff to open on camera today. But before we get started, if you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe, come and join the family. And if you haven't already, please turn on post notifications because YouTube these days is just a little bit all over the place, you know, a little bit how you going. And they don't always let you know when I have uploaded. So if you turn on post notifications, you will be notified every single time I upload a new video. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. I'm actually really excited for this. It's kind of been painful over the last two weeks, I'm not gonna lie, to like just leave my packages unopened because I get so excited every time one comes to the front door and then to just like bring it upstairs and put it and add it to the pile, I was like. <laughs> I just want to know what's inside them. So let's get started, hey? A few of them I have opened because I like unboxed them before I'd really decided I was going to do this haul. So a few of them aren't in boxes. Like this one, for example, this is from Benefit and it's a cool little like holographic bum bag, which I think is so cute. I've got Splendor coming up and I'm like kind of, kind of convinced I want to rock this bum bag at Splendor. We'll see. We'll see if it goes with any of my outfits. The first thing in the little bum bag is this 11 Australia Give Me Clean Hair Dry Shampoo, which is really cool because as some of you might know, I've actually teamed up with 11 Australia for some campaigns and I really, really like their hair care. So that's kind of cool that Benefit have worked with Eleven on this PR package. And then it also has five, five shades of their 3D brow tones. These are all colorful brow tones. So there's deep blue, copper, deep teal, magenta, and rich purple. So I'm assuming that these are for like festival-y vibes. They look so cool. Are they out? Oh yeah, they're available from last month. Wow, I am very late to the bandwagon there. They retail for $42 and you can get them from Benefit Counters. How exciting! Benefit always do the cutest PR packages. Like they always send like cute bags or like makeup cases or something like that. So Benefit are onto it. I just realized they've also sent some Diamantes and tweezers as well. That's so cute. I will definitely be using these for Splendor. All right, next up is this really random Shawn Mendes signature perfume. I think I'm going to keep this and put this into my giveaway boxes. I have like three full big boxes currently full of stuff that I want to put in giveaways. So I have a hundred perfumes already. I don't need another one. And I feel like this will go to someone else. I just realized it's a unisex perfume. That's really cool. Anyways, I'm gonna put this in a giveaway. All right, let's open this one next. <gasps> okay, this one is from Pixie. I just, just recently got added to the Pixie PR list. And I'm so excited because I love Pixie products. I absolutely adore them. So thank you to Pixie for adding me onto the PR. Pixie is one of those brands that's really, really hard to get here in Australia. So to be on their PR list now, I feel really lucky because it means that I can feature their products in my videos more and show you guys their products more because I really do genuinely love them, but it's just so hard to get my hands on them here in Australia. Okay, they have packaged this box really well. This is one thing you guys are gonna notice in this video is how bad I am at opening PR packages like opening the boxes. Ben always gets frustrated and usually takes over and opens all of my packages for me because I'm just 
Oh, I'm so slow at it. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It says, Pixie by Petra, looking like you, only better in no time. That's Pixie. Skin Rescue Essentials. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It looks like they are glow products. You guys know I love love a glow so we've got the glow o2 oxygen mask it says that it's a bubbling energizing mask stop it i'm pretty sure i've used a mask similar to this before and it like bubbles up when you apply it to your skin like once oxygen comes into contact with it it starts bubbling up and that's what kind of activates the ingredients in the mask i'm pretty sure that's what this mask is das cool they've also put in an overnight glow serum which I will definitely be using. This one is the Jasmine Oil Blend. I'm not too sure what this is for. I'll have to read up about it, but I absolutely love Jasmine. I always drink Jasmine tea. I am like, I love the flavor of it. So I'm excited to try that one out. And then they've also put in the Pixie Glow Mist. I have the Hydrating Mist. I've used it in a few of my videos. I love it. When Casey and I were in LA at the Pixie store, I remember I had a glow spray. I don't know if it was this one in particular, but it was something similar to this and then I had the hydrating mist in my hand as well and I couldn't decide between the two but I ended up getting the hydrating mist so if this is the one that I was also tossing up with I'm excited that I now have it all right this one has my address on it so I need to be really careful that I don't show it oh I think this one's the Ola Henriksen their new mask oh it says open immediately whoa <laughs> Okay, it is. It's the new cold plunge pore mask. You might have seen it on social media, but I'm pretty sure it's like a bright blue mask. Yeah, it is. It's like an aqua blue mask. I love Ola Henriksen products. I've used a bunch of their products before. They're, um, they have a little serum in a tiny orange bottle and I can't for the life of me remember the actual name of it right now, but I love it. It was so, so good. I just haven't been able to get my hands on it since then because it's always sold out. So I need to look out for it again because it's probably one of the best serums I've ever used on my skin. I went through it so quickly because I was just obsessed with it. But yeah, Ola Henriksen skincare is amazing. All right, this is a mech a box. I actually unboxed this out of like the cardboard box that it arrived in and saw that it was Mecca and I was like, nope, I'm going to keep that for my PR haul. So I haven't actually looked inside, but it is so heavy. Mecca always do like insanely good PR packages. They are such a generous company. I adore Mecca. So yeah, I'm excited to see what is inside of this. Feels like there is a lot. There is. Oh my God. Mecca is so generous. So that's the box there. Holy moly. They always spoil us rotten. So we've got, oh, a NARS undressed lip set. Look at that packaging. How cool. So I think there's a few different lip products in there. There's four different lip products. Just so you guys know as well, whenever I receive makeup in PR packages, I have like a shelf in my beauty room where I keep all of the new makeup that I get sent. And every now and then I will do full face makeup tutorials using new products so that I can feature all of the new stuff that I get sent and put it to the test. So if there's anything that you see in this PR haul that you really want me to incorporate into some makeup tutorials coming up, then definitely let me know in the comments down below because I always want to know what you guys want to see. If there's something that catches your eye or that you've been wanting to try yourself, let me know and I will try and review it or include it into a makeup tutorial soon. We've also got this Skin Iceland Glacial Spray Lotion. That's got me intrigued. I wonder, is it like a setting spray? It just says spray lotion. I'm gonna have to suss this out off camera. If I go into depth about every single product that I've got here, this video is gonna be like two hours long. So I'm just gonna like skim over them quickly. But I've also got the Bare Minerals Lash Topia Mascara. Another NARS product. This is the same packaging as the lip set, but it looks like it's an eye and cheek palette, which is cool. NARS always do really, really cool packaging. There's also a bunch of lipstick queen liquid lipsticks, I wanna say. Lip glosses. So I've got one, two, three, four, seven different shades. I haven't actually used many Lipstick Queen products. I'm not sure how long Mecca has stocked them, but they always have super, super fancy packaging. Like the packaging is really cool. And we've got a bunch of the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. I have a feeling I already have some of these shades. I'll have to double check, but I've already got a bunch of the Vice lipsticks. So if I've got any double ups, I'll put them into my giveaway box. Then we've got the new Mecca Max Life Proof Liquid Darkener and Liquid Lightener. I'm 
pretty sure you put these in your foundation to lighten them or darken them if the shade is slightly off, which is cool. Oh, we've got more Vice lipsticks. Oh my god, okay. So we've got two of the Born to Run Urban Decay lipsticks. I said Vice before. These aren't the Vice ones. These are Born to Run lipsticks. And then there's also a... Oh, this is a Vice lipstick. I'm confusing myself. It looks like this is from the same collection as this one, which is the Beached Eyeshadow Palette. This is another Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes. I feel like Urban Decay come out with eyeshadow palettes all the freaking time. Like, how many eyeshadow palettes can one brand have? They have a lot. A lot of eyeshadow palettes. That's actually really pretty, though. Oh, I really like that. And then I've also got the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, which I have heard incredible things about. The packaging's so cool. It's a real like travel summery vibe. Oh, look at these colors. Oh my gosh. All right, we're slowly chipping away at all of this. I kind of need like a second person here to help me, don't I? All right, so this is from Bite Beauty. It says Prismatic Pearl Multi Stick. I'm not sure if you can see it. The packaging's very reflective. It's in a little plastic case like this. How do you open it? Oh, got it. So they've put the Bite Beauty Ag Agave, Agave, Agave lip mask which I've heard really good things about, although I'm pretty sure Casey is severely allergic to this. So just be careful because I know Casey has had reactions to a few of the Bite Beauty lip products before. So just be careful. Always test it on like the inside of your arm or something like that before you actually apply it everywhere. And then there's five of these. I'm assuming these are lipsticks. Let me, let me open one. I'm not gonna open every single one. Oh, the packaging's so sleek. Oh, wow. Can you guys see that? It is very, very shimmery. I wonder if they're all shimmery. This one's called Pink Pearl. I'm assuming they are shimmery, actually, because it's called Prismatic Multi-Stick. So they must all have that shimmery, prismatic look to them. This little bag here is from Maybelline. I actually attended a Maybelline event last week, the week before, and they sent me home with this bag. So I thought I'd just include it into the PR haul and show you guys exactly what they gave us. So we've got two cream blushes. These are the Dream Matte Blushes. I was actually looking in my collection this morning for cream blushes because I just did like really light, simple makeup today and I didn't want to put on a powder blush and I couldn't find any cream blushes. Like how do I not own any cream blushes? I do now. We've also got the Total Temptation Brow Definer. The Total Temptation line is a new range for Maybelline. So they've got the mascara and then a shadow and highlight palette as well. And then they've also extended their shade range for the Superstay Matte Ink liquid lipsticks. The formula of these are amazing. So I'm excited to have a few more colors to play around with. All right, let's see what's in this one. Where's it from? I don't know. Oh my god, I can't open it. That's because there's tape on it, Erin. Oh, this one's from the iconic London. That's what it looks like. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Plastic. Oh. Okay, so this says luminous powder. Iconic London packaging is incredible. Oh, it looks like it's kind of like a highlighter and bronzer in one. That's cool. Cooper. Keep. Come here. Cooper, come here. You don't even know what you're barking at. Excuse me. Cooper, Coopy Poopy. Come here, Bubba. Come here, you got an obstacle to go through. I know, I got packages everywhere. He can't get to me. Okay, let's continue. I don't know what the dogs are barking at, but this is a pro puff. A whaty what? Ah! Oh my god, I'm dropping everything. <laughs> what is this? What is it for? Our ultimate pro finishing brush is designed to achieve all over face and body application in a single sweep. The large velvety soft bristles make it suitable for use with all powders whilst the bespoke handle fits perfectly in the palm of your hand to allow for effortless application. I mean, it's cool, but I also just don't know what I would use it for. Like it, it feels really nice, really soft. What do we got next? We got a Charlotte Tilbury package next, which is 
so exciting because I love Charlotte Tilbury products. I think they are incred incredible. Ah, dropping everything. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Oh, she grows lashes. That's cute. I think this is for their new mascara, which I don't have. So I've got this Eyes to Mesmerize Long Lasting Easy Color. I think this is like an eyeshadow. Oh, pretty. It's like a bronzy gold cream eyeshadow. They've also sent a collagen lip bath, collagen enhanced lip plumping care. I mean, my lips don't really need any plumping, but like, why the hell not? The plumper the better, right? No, that was gross, Erin, don't do that. I can't wink. And then I've got two bigger, brighter, oh wait, no, they're different. Oh, they're different. I've got a bigger, brighter eyes filter eyeshadow palette. Why are Charlotte Tilbury names so long? And then a pretty youth glow filter, soft focus cream blush and highlighter duo. Amazing, another cream blush. Wow, I've just gone from having none to three. Incredible. Thank you, Charlotte Tilbury. Let's do this Estee Lauder one next. Oh, it looks like we've got some lip products. I'm just trying to grab them all out so I can show you them all at once. I think they are glosses. We've got a few different shades here. I obviously have my eye on this nudie pink color, but this one also looks incredible. It's like a shimmery bronzy gold color. All right, next up is this little white box. I have no idea who this is from. This one came from my agency, so it could be from anyone. Oh, this is another Ulla Henriksen mask. They've sent me two. Oh, this is like a little travel sized one. Oh my God, cute. All right, this package is, again, I kind of opened this and had a little giggle at it. And then I was like, no, need to save it for the PR haul. This is from the brand Go To Skincare. I believe this is Hamish Blake. So for any of you guys in Australia, you should know who Hamish and Andy are. This is Hamish Blake's wife's brand. That will mean nothing to any of you that aren't Australian, but Hamish and Andy are two of our like big radio presenters over here. Anyways, let's get into the actual package. <laughs> So they've put in this sticker that's so cute. It says, holy shit, you look amazing. The camera keeps wanting to focus on my face. I'm very sorry about that, but hopefully you can still see and get the general gist. Go away, not my face, no. Then we've got a Pinky Nudie Lips lip balm. I won't read out all of the stuff on the packaging, but if you guys ever get your hands on some go-to skincare, make sure you read the packaging because it's just hilarious. Like this mask will make me look as though I know what sleep is. But all of the like the back description and everything of the products is just really witty and really funny. So it's quite comical. Like it's quite funny looking at all of them. This one is called the Exception Oil. I am not too sure what that is, but I'm interested to try it. This one is called Super Handy. I'm assuming that this one is like a hand cream or something. And then this one here is the Very Useful Face Cream. These look like sheet masks and I adore sheet masks. I think they are so cool. So I can like, I can literally never have too many sheet masks. I use them that often. What's this one? Oh, this one looks like it's from Mecca. Another Mecca package. Yep, it's that iconic pink Mecca box. Oh, I've seen people posting about this. This looks like it is the new Mecca Max Beauty Queen palette. I've seen heaps of people posting about this online. <laughs> They've sent a Beauty Queen sash. <gasps> Mom, I've made it. I'm a Mecca Max Beauty Queen. Oh my God, it doesn't even stop there. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna wear this for the rest of the video all right let's open this palette i've heard that it's amazing for those of you guys who aren't in australia mecca is like our australian sephora even though we have sephora but like mecca was around before sephora came to australia if that makes sense so like mecca is our go-to cosmetic makeup store they do skincare and all of that too but they stock all of the brands that sephora doesn't so they were the first company to bring like a lot of the american brands <laughs> hang on my sash is falling off um they were one of the first companies to bring like most of the american brands to australia so i'll always love mecca for that but this this is the palette that looks so cool these are all eyeshadows wow 
I don't think I've ever seen a palette like this before. That's so pretty. I also just low key remembered or like saw in my viewfinder that I'm wearing a tracksuit. Classy. All right, this one looks like a package from this sash is that has to come off. It has to come off. It keeps falling and I'm just not having it. This is a package from what looks like Beauty Blender. How do I open it? How do I open it? Oh, it's got a sticker on the back. Uh, got it. Oh, it opens like this. It says, Beauty Queen. I was just a beauty queen in the last package too. I'm just a beauty queen all round today. I feel like I need to put my sash back on for this because this is also beauty queen. Still got my tiara on, so that's okay. Guys, guys, I got another sash. Oh my God, this is the best day of my life. I need to put the other one on. I need to be two. I need to be double the beauty queen. Wow. Amazing. Look at me. Oh, such a beauty queen. I'm kind of confused because there's like two little things up there that look like they could be spy cameras or, or lights or lights around the mirror, but they could be spy cameras. Um, I'm just not too sure how they turn on. I've got another beauty blender. I love beauty blenders. I go through them like no tomorrow, so I can never have too many. All right, this video is getting out of control. Out of control, I tell you, but I love it. We're getting there, guys, we're getting there. This one looks like it is a package from my agency. So again, it could be any brand. Oh, looks like it's a perfume. It is. It's a the good girl Carolina, Carolina Herrera, New York. Oh my God, I probably just butchered that name. I think I'm going to leave this and maybe put it into a giveaway because I know that if I open it, I'm never going to use it. Like I'll probably use a couple of squirts and then it's just going to sit. And I'd rather give it to one of you guys who's actually going to use it a lot more than me. Oh my God, this is another Mecca. Another Mecca package. I told you guys, Mecca literally spoil us like I'm constantly constantly getting packages from them and they are just so generous okay <laughs> this is massive new look who this and it looks like it is smashbox stop it I'm gonna try and tip this out so I can okay <laughs> so as you saw before <laughs> This slides out. This is an insane package. What the hell? I don't even know what to say. This is such a generous package. Like this is crazy. So it looks like they've redesigned or reformulated their primers. Maybe because this is a whole package of their primers. So we've got their primer water, six of their photo finish primers, the primerizer, moisturizer, the primer oil, and then a primer stick. I'm gonna be all primed up after this package. That is insane. I actually have never tried any of the Smashbox primers either. So I'll have to select a few out for myself and try them out in videos soon. But wow, thank you so much to Smashbox and Mecca. This is like, I'm so excited. I've never been so excited for a primer in my life. What's this? Oh, I think this one is from L'Oreal. I remember opening the box and seeing this and I was like, oh, I need to open this on camera. I wish my sashes would behave. It says, let's glow girl. Oh, stop. Why is everyone sending me props today? Oh my God, these feel so soft. Oh, cute, it's a little gown, like a little dressing gown. It says glow like a Parisian. Kind of uh, a bit tight over my tracksuit at the moment, but YOLO, we're gonna keep it on. I'm gonna put this one on as well. Then can you see my tiara? Cute. All right. <laughs> I look like such a dickhead right now. I don't even care. All right, so we've got some of the new L'Oreal. It's actually kind of hot in all of this, but it's fine. Oh, I can't get any of this out. So I'm gonna have to attack that later, but I I can't, I can't get this stuff out, but it's some of the new L'Oreal Glow products. Can you see them all in there? So we've got a liquid illuminator, a blush, back to bronze bronzer, a 
tint, a skin tint by the looks of it. And then the highlighting palette, I've tried the bronzer and the highlighting palette and they are insanely good. So I'm going to chuck them into a giveaway box, but I haven't tried the other stuff. So I'm excited for that. You guys know I'm obsessed with anything that says that it'll give me glow. I'm like, yes, give it to me. All right. We got four left, ladies and gentlemen, four left. We are getting there. Oh gosh. It looks like it's got some fuzzy things in it. Oh, okay. This is from Marin Marinese, Marinesse, Marinesse. So we've got an eye curl twin heated lash curler. What? It's a heated lash curler. What is this? Oh, I feel like I've just got the golden ticket. Willy Wonka's golden ticket. Oh, this is the eye curl mascara. So I'm assuming that these two pair up and they go together. They work together. That's cool. All right, I'm going to leave that in this little gold packet and put them both, both in the giveaway box. All right, let's attack this Neutrogena bag next. It says, enjoy a pamponite on us with our new mask collection. Sit back, relax, and hydrate. I feel like I've got a lot of face masks in this PR haul, so I'm going to be having lots of pamponites soon. Stop. Stop it. There's some more props. Guys, there's more props. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Popcorn. Drinking chocolate. What the hell? Oh my god. This is so cute. Oh my god. I am like... My face hurts from smiling right now. Oh, there's another one. It's like they think I have friends or something. I can't get over this. This is such a cute package. Well, I mean, we've got to follow the tradition right now and just put everything on me. Stop. There's more, guys. There's more. Pajamas. Are you kidding? That is so cute. Okay, well... I don't think I can fit these on my body right now. If I could, I would. Sorry to let you guys down, but this one's going to have to stay off. And then and then we've got the actual products. So we've got a youthful boost mask, a purifying boost mask, and a hydro boost mask. They're all sheet masks. I love sheet masks. I said that before. This is like, it's probably my favorite package. No, I can't say that because there's some pretty good ones in here. This is like one of my favorite packages from today. And then they've got these little boosters. So Hydra Boost Sleeping Mask and a Youthful Boost Sleeping Mask. That's cool. Thank you so much to Neutrogena. That is like, that's such a cool package. Seriously, thank you so much. I don't know why I'm saying thank you to the camera because they're probably not even gonna watch this, but like, thank you to you guys. Honestly, actually, wow, let's stop for a second. Thank you to you guys. Okay, so my camera stopped recording. I have two more packages to open, so let's do it. Oh, this one's kind of heavy. Oh, it says it's from Bondi Sands. Where's my scissors? Oh, okay, so I got a little Bondi Sands boxy box here. It says Bondi Sands, the Australian way. Look at Steph Claire Smith. Such a freaking babe. I've followed her for at least like five or six years on social media now. She's the face of Bondi Sands now, which is so insanely cool, but she's just such a pure Australian girl. Just, I, I just, I think she's really cool. So it's really cool to see her on a brochure. Oh my gosh, they've stocked me up. Holy moly. Oh no. Oh no, I think we've had a leakage. We have had a leakage. Okay, well, I'm not too sure where the leakage is coming from, but... We've got the Bondi Sands self tan eraser. There's someone here. Okay, well that was a false alarm again because it was just for the neighbors. And I was kind of concerned because I didn't want to walk out like this. So it's Cooper. Anyways, it's good that I didn't have to go and face someone looking like this. Even though this is about to go on the internet to so many people. But you guys were with me on the journey to this, so it makes sense to you. Anyways, so back to Bondi Sands. I've got the self-tanning foam in dark. And then the, it looks like it's the liquid gold. I've heard good things about the liquid gold actually, but I've never tried it. So 
I'll have to give it a go. This is the dry oil, the self-tanning dry oil. We've also got one of the Bondi Sin, Bondi Sins? Bondi Sands application mitts. And then we've got the One Hour Express self-tanning mousse as well. One more. Guys, this has been a journey. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. But if you've stuck with me until the end, you guys are the real OGs. The real MVPs. So thank you for still being here with me. All right, so this is a package from Naked Fashion. They actually reached out to me a few months ago to see if I would like to do a haul for, for them on my Instagram stories. So these are all like, I've chosen these items, but this is my first time seeing them, obviously. Looks like we've got a denim skirt. You guys know I love my denim skirts. This is actually really good quality too. This is from the Sahara Ray Times Naked Collection. I'm just going to skim over these really quickly. If you want to see like a proper in-depth haul and like I'll try them on in my haul, that'll be on my Instagram stories. So make sure you're following me on Instagram so you don't miss out. I've then got some black trackies. These look so comfy. I literally like I own so many pairs of tracksuit pants, but I wanted a really nice pair of black tracksuit pants because I feel like black trackies you can kind of make look dressy, if that makes sense. Like you can kind of dress them up and wear them out in public and people won't judge you. So I just wanted like a really nice pair of black trackies. And yes, I'm wearing black trackies right now, but they have the red IMG stripes down the side and they're just a little bit too much for like public wear. Like a little bit too much, a little bit out there. So I wanted some plain black. Wow, this feels like such good quality. This is a little top and I think it's got flare sleeves. It does. I'm obsessed with flare sleeves at the moment. I've bought so many items that have flare sleeves recently. I just think it's a really cool style. This does look like it might be a little bit too big for me. Maybe I can wear it as like an oversized. Okay, this. I can't remember what this is. Oh, I think this is a little crop top. And I got it because I really liked the color because I don't own anything that's this color. That's really cute. And same with this one. I thought it was a really unique color as well. This one I believe is a shirt and it says offline. And then the last item is this camo long sleeve top. I love long sleeve tops like this. And it's like a light camo, but then it's got the naked logo on the back. This one doesn't feel like it's as great quality as the rest of the items though. It's weird. It's like a really thin, kind of feels like a scratchy material, but I'll try it on and I'll let you guys know in my Instagram haul what I think of it. So that is the end of my PR haul. If you've made it all the way to the end, I just want to say thank you because it's been quite a journey to get to where I am right now. So if you made it all the way to the end, leave me a comment down below saying, yes, beauty queen. Yes, and I'll know that you've made it all the way to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my packages. If you would like to see more videos like this, then definitely give it a big thumbs up because that lets me know that you guys really like this style of video and that will make me want to do more of them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Love you guys. I'm gonna set this house on fire.